everybody, it's me here, How To Camera, and I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. I certainly am. Unfortunately, though, I am an Amazon slave, so I'm not having a good life. Actually, I've changed my mind. I am an overworked Amazon slave. How sad. Long time no see on the main channel. Um, obviously, I've been finishing my degree, and I've just been quite, you know, demotivated to make content on this channel. Um, I did a video on my second channel. Um, I'm going to start doing football content on there, 100%. Uh, it's just content I'm more passionate about, to be honest. And I feel like the content I enjoy making, it, it does well. Like, I'll enjoy making this video, and I'm not, you know, quitting this channel, but I definitely won't be uploading super frequently on it. But if you want to see me more frequently, you can check out my second channel. Fantastic news. Anyway, I hope you guys are all good. Um, I finished my degree two weeks ago. And I, after I finished my degree, very quickly got into employment. Um, I became an agency worker for an Amazon warehouse. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Doing night shifts. I did a TikTok talking about this and, you know, the TikTok did pretty well. I had a lot of people supporting me and it's nice. But to be honest, I don't really need the validation, but I, I don't mind it. You know, of course, I don't mind it. But I actually had a few people like criticizing me, saying, oh, you used to make fun of people's GCC results, their BTEC results, saying they were useless. And now you're working for Amazon. How the tables have turned, something like that. And I was just thinking to myself, like, what, what the fuck are you on about? <laughs> you're such an idiot. I had other people saying, wow, so you have a degree in chemistry and you're not even using it. You know, you just work in Amazon. Like, what the hell? <laughs> like, what's wrong with people? I swear to God. So I finished my degree two weeks ago literally two weeks ago today. Why did I apply to Amazon? You may be wondering. Well, honestly, I just wanted money. And also I wanted to just like, I wanted to just do something. Like, I know that sounds stupid, but like I've been in education for so long. Realistically, I've been in education my whole life. I've had, you know, very part-time jobs, but I've never had like a full-time job. I've never been self-sufficient. And for me, that's something that is very important to me. It's one of the reasons why uni made me so miserable because I just felt like I was living off other people's backs. You know, I still live with my parents and I didn't like that. Then again, I didn't want to borrow, you know, a lot of money and move out. To me, that just seems stupid because it's just a waste of money. I just didn't feel self-sufficient. It was something I cared so much about. I wanted to invest. You know, the stock market right now is a bit, a bit low. It's a perfect time to invest. I thought to myself, you know what, I need to make some money. And also I understood that, you know, graduate jobs are not easy to get into. A lot of people who finish uni spend months, sometimes even years finding a job. Like it genuinely is a serious, serious thing. And I wanted to just get away from uni. Like I just wanted to do something outside of uni for once. And that's why, you know, I work... I work for Amazon. So you may be wondering, Cameron, how much money do you make? I make £12.11 an hour, uh, which is, you know, well over minimum wage, well over living wage. It's actually a pretty good wage, to be honest. Uh, but obviously, it's night shifts. <laughs> so that's why the, the wage is, you know, so decent. For me, the night shifts work. I have a weird sleeping schedule. I like being up at night. I'm kind of a night owl. I think when you work at night, it goes faster. So I don't really have too much of a problem with that. And I have no social life because I have no friends. So there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm capping, okay? I'm capping. I have a lot of friends. But yeah, like, you guys are my friends. I have almost 20,000 subs. Fantastic. No, but like, £12.11 an hour, you actually end up making a lot more than that because of holiday pay. Like, you get holiday pay... It works out to be like 10% of your salary. It's hard to explain holiday pay, but if you're going to look at how many hours you've actually worked and you're going to try and work out, you know, how much money you make per hour, it's more like 13 quid when you include holiday pay, uh, which is, you know, great. I think it's more like £13.50 actually. But ultimately, you know, doing all the calculations and everything, me working at Amazon allows me to save up, you know, about a grand a month. And that's including board, that's including all my travel expenses and, you know, a daily allowance of like a tenner. And, you know, that's a pretty good amount of money to, to save and invest. And it's something temporary. Uh, it's temporary. I don't know how long I'm going to be doing it. But in the meantime, you know, I'm looking for chemistry jobs, chemistry graduate jobs. 
and it's just a nice thing uh, to to do on on the side, uh, looking for jobs, not working at Amazon. That's not something on the side. That's a that's a main bitch thing. So ultimately, uh, that's what I'm trying to do. And the thing is with applying for jobs is it's such a long-winded process. Not so much that you're going to be busy doing it all the time. A lot of it's just waiting. I've applied for lots of jobs. I was shortlisted. Um, I don't know if I've got an interview yet. Um, but you know, you know, it's just a process. And a lot of these jobs I've applied for, they actually want the degree. Like I don't know what result I got. I could have got a two one, a two two, a third. I don't know what I got. I mean, technically I already got a third, regardless of what results I got for my finals. I could get zero on all of them. I'd still get a third. Well, I hope I got higher. I did. I definitely got a two two or higher. Like I very much doubt I got a third. There we go. Cursing, cursing my luck. Fantastic news. But like, on a real note, you know, I'm applying for these jobs and I know I've got a degree, but I just don't know my grade. And a lot of these jobs, they're just so hard to get into because like with chemistry, you just need to get on the ladder. You just need to go on the ladder. You need to get into a graduate job and you build the experience and you just got the ladder. That's literally the whole, that's the whole point of it. And while I'm doing that, while I'm trying to get onto that ladder, you know, I'm working at Amazon. So I'm you know, self-sufficient. So I've worked at Amazon now uh, for a total of five, uh, five, five working days, 50 hours cumulatively. And, you know, how's it gone? You may be wondering. Well, firstly, the first day was an induction and the work was really easy. You know, they gave us a low workload. But as you do it more, you know, they give you more of a workload. When I applied for Amazon, I was terrified. Because <laughs> literally every single review is like, you work at Amazon, you're going to drop dead from fucking you're just gonna waste it away because <laughs> the workload is so high and when you actually do the job it, it's not it's not that bad it really isn't like the workload is high i'll be honest the workload is high but what you find is you become more efficient at it and as you become more efficient at it, it it's just a job it literally just feels like a job i think so many people in this generation and i say in this generation in this country in the West, I think there are so many people who are allergic to hard work. The immigrants, they come over, they work these jobs, and they don't even complain. They don't even complain because they're hard workers. And I think we need to take a leaf out of their book. You have to work hard to be successful. That's just how it is. You have to put in the hard miles. And like with the job, it's not like it's not overly hard. Like, yeah, you can get really stressed out by it, but as you get better at it, it's fine. And also, like, as long as you're trying, you're never going to be penalized. Like, they only care about penalizing you if you are, like, not working. If you are there trying to slack, you know, you're trying to move your problems and your workload onto someone else who you know, doesn't deserve it and you're just being unfair, that's when they'll penalize you. But, like, if you're trying your hardest... You know, they don't expect you to be superhuman and sometimes it gets really busy. What you find is most of the time, and you're doing loads of different roles at Amazon. What you find is most of the time the workload is decent, but sometimes it just gets ridiculous, okay? But it kind of, it's just funny, to be honest. It's so ridiculous, you're just there like, what the hell? But you get efficient at it and as you get efficient at it, you learn how to, how to deal with those stints of, you know, high workload, and that's really it. And the thing is, right, is when you have a decent workload, and a lot of it is decent, you're not super overworked. Okay, you're just not. Like, like you could be overworked, I guess, if you just did everything wrong. But as long as you're efficient with it and you, you know, gain experience from it, you just find yourself working. It's almost like clockwork, almost. And I've, you know, improved a lot with, with the jobs I've done at Amazon. And the money's great, to be honest. Like, it's temporary. And that's how I look at it. And it, it can be quite boring sometimes. It can be quite monotonous, monotonous. I can't even say the word. It does feel like you're a machine sometimes, but then you get paid a lot. So it's worth it. And the people there are so cool. They're such decent people. The supervisors, they're just decent people. Obviously, they want you to work hard, but it's just a job. You're expected to work hard when you make a good salary. You know, minimum wage, I think, for my age is like £7.30 or something, and I'm here making £12.11. Like, of course I'm expected to work hard. You know, on the way to work, you know, I have a coach that takes me. It's fantastic. 
It's a pain getting back because it's near the airport. But, you know, I manage. And to be honest, after doing four days of it, it's the same dynamic. You get there for the first six hours, it's kind of boring. The workload's decent, but it's not crazy. It just kind of gets boring. There's this one or two hour period where it's just AIDS, uh, where the workload is massive. And I don't think anyone can manage it. But it's fine. You know, it's not massive in the sense that you're like freighting things about. You're not a slave. You're just dealing with a lot of things at once and it can be stressful. But what you learn to understand is, you know, you can only do so much. And as long as you're not a perfectionist, you'll be okay. You know, a lot of the stress is just in your head, to be honest. Um, but once you get through it, you know, yeah, in the last few hours, you can be like, oh, I can't keep doing this. But then you finish and you're like, you know what, it wasn't even that bad. And then I did it for four days in a row. And on the fourth day, I was literally thinking to myself, like, I'm literally okay. I'm literally completely fine. It's just important that you're drinking and you're eating and you're sleeping enough. That's literally it. As long as you're eating, drinking and sleeping enough, you will be fine. You'll get more efficient at it. And as you become more efficient at it, it becomes a doddle. It's not hard work. It's repetitive. Yes, but it's a job, to be honest. And for me, it's good motivation to actually succeed with you know applying for other jobs like you have to do the hard miles sometimes you just have to do it you go through hard shit in your life you go through breakups and they suck and they hurt so much and they're so tough but when you get through them when you move on and you find someone else you appreciate them a lot more and you've learned a lot more and it translates to jobs as well i'm sure that when i'm doing a chemistry job whether it be in a year you know, at the bottom of the ladder, or in 10 years, hopefully nearer the middle, I hope that I'll appreciate it a lot more, because I've put in the hard miles, I'm just making sure that I'm taking care of myself, that's the big thing, and at the end of the day, the good thing about this job is I know that if it's too much, I can just quit, I can just give up, because I can, I'm in a position where I can give up, I have a great family, I have money, like, it's not even like I'm desperate, to be honest, I'm very good at seeing the light in things. And for me, when I have a goal, and when I have my, you know, visions set out, you know, I'm, I'm fine with working hard. I'm fine with that. I really am. One of the biggest problems I think people have, and I have this problem so much, is I always compare myself to other people. I always compare, oh, look at Billy over there. He's a supervisor. He makes more than me. And his job's easier than mine. I'll look at you know, people who are more successful than me in their degree, and there's people doing their masters, people doing their PhDs. And they're like, what am I doing Amazon? Like, I'm a loser, I'm a failure. But what they're doing is irrelevant. It's completely irrelevant. For me, doing this job, as shit as it is, I get three days off a week where I can totally zone out, just sign out of that shit. And then I make a grand a month in savings. Like, it's literally... It's a win-win. Like, it's good money. Like, I, I don't understand why. The, I mean, it's a job. Like, yeah, it's hard work, but it's a job. You know, that's what life's about. You know, you work hard. We're human beings. We've evolved for millions of years. I can move some goddamn boxes. Okay, <laughs> I can organize some boxes. It's within my IQ levels, you know. But yeah, I'm applying for graduate jobs. Uh, there is one job that, you know, I hopefully got an interview for, which I'm excited about. Um, but to be honest, I actually kind of want to keep doing Amazon in a weird way because it's a pay cut. This graduate chemistry job I'm looking at is 20 grand a year. It's literally a five and a half grand pay cut for the same hours. Obviously, it's not a night, but <laughs> it's just so funny how, how work works. I sound so stupid, you know, saying it that way. But yeah, you need to get on the ladder. That's the thing with chemistry. Like with Amazon, there isn't really much promotional opportunity. Um, and with chemistry, it's huge. You know, you go into an entry level graduate chemistry job, it seems pretty shit in the moment, but then what you realize is there's just so much progression. It's ridiculous how much you can progress. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Smash the like button if you enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new today. And I hope you guys are all having a great day. And peace. Giving everyone kisses. Fantastic news.